this one triggered me quite a bit. Whew, this one, this one, uh, this one triggered me. What's up, go-getters? Welcome back to Mili Money. And today we are looking at what are some of the businesses that you can start with only 10,000 Kenya shillings. Yes, you had right. You don't need hundreds of thousands of Kenya shillings to start a business. What can you do with 10K? Because Mili, all I have, I promise you, is 10,000. All right. And for this particular video, I have watched probably 10 videos done by other kenyans so you don't have to watch um all these other videos i also asked chat gpt this specific question and the term that i have is you know what was repeated across all these different other videos that i watch and articles that i read together with chat gpt so here we go the very first one is selling secondhand anything <laughs> <laughs> right just think about what are you interested in what are what do you have an eye for get it secondhand and sell it because a lot of people do struggle to sell their own items so if you have an eye right for something and and you can be able to you know gather these things and put them together whether it's secondhand shoes whether it's clothes whether it's furniture whatever it is uh furniture 10k kidogo to struggle but secondhand anything was a very fast a thing it was a thing that you know gathered the most points to be number one then number two ladies shoes bags and clothes i don't know what's going on with ladies is it that we are really that you know that we spend that much as far as fashion is concerned so if you can sell anything to the ladies it looks like you are guaranteed to make a killing because ladies will buy a pair of jeans every week men will buy a pair of jeans if if they are very fashionable once every quarter <laughs> and that's an extreme example right so number two is ladies fashion anything fashion for women it looks like you're good to go number three business you can actually start with under 10,000 kenya shillings is a laundry service or a vacuuming service and yes there are vacuums out there that are going to cost you under 10 g's and all you have to do is you know buy the vacuum cleaner whether it's for cars for instance and you can do a very good vacuum in inside of the car or it's for the house right and you advertise yourself aggressively because a lot of people don't feel the need to buy a vacuum right uh, and so if you can vacuum for them once a month they, they would rather pay that 500 that 1g whatever than you know gather all their money and, and and buy the vacuum for i don't know 15k or for that 10k so that is business number three that you can actually start with under 10 g's number four that was recommended from all these different places is starting a uh, street food vending right so if you're good at making chapatis go at the roadside so if you can make samosas if you can make mandazis go to the roadside if you can make mtura holler at me I i'm gonna be your customer i'm gonna be your customer so street food vending is another one that was highly highly advertised as you can actually do this successfully with under 10,000. Next up is fruit vending. This one, I have seen it in action. You know, you go to the market on market day, get all these fruits, chop them up, put them into very nice containers or blend them and start walking around selling them. You'll be shocked the amount of profits here. This thing can be trade. You can really make a lot of money with fruit vending. It appeared, I think, possibly in all of the different um, areas that I looked. So fruit vending, something to consider. Next up, we have the cereal business. Yeah. Cereal business is go get in wholesale, come sell the beans, the lentils, the, all these different kind of things, the commanders, the jahiz, you know, all of them, get them and sell, sell to, you know, your neighborhood, sell to your estate, sell, sell somewhere, right? So start starting a cereal business is another thing that you can do. And it is very, very lucrative as well. And even if you can you know, add some pump to it, because I remember um, there's a time where my aunt used to buy cereals that have been washed, cleaned and all that. And then they get delivered to your house. So there are people who don't want to go and look for the seven types of beans out there, right? So if you can create a service that is going to, you know, solve a problem, because maybe someone's problem is I don't want to go to the market, but at the end of the day, I do want to get these things. So if you can deliver, for instance, if you can package, if you can wash, if you can, then you're going to be making a killing. All right, moving on. <laughs> and this one triggered me quite a bit. 
Whew, this one, this one, uh, this one triggered me. Number seven is the soap business. And if you don't know why this one triggered me, I'm going to be linking up a video up here so that you can you can feel the pain that I felt. Uh, so soap business, again, you need under 10 Gs, whether it's making the liquid soap and try to sell it in your village, try to sell it to a school, try to sell it to your church, for instance, whatever it is. And, you know, soap making as a skill, you, you just need one YouTube video how to make soap they'll explain to you all the ingredients you're going to get from inda uh, how to mix it up how to how long to wait and then voila you have soap very very easy i would say recommend start with under 10,000. next up is different types of farming so i saw some people saying pottery you know some of the videos saying hatchery others talking about rabbit farming and all these different kinds of farming so if you do have a, a, a ploty somewhere yeah, if you do have somewhere you can spare some space and you can have some structures, do some farming. Do some farming. It's going to cost you under 10K, especially if you already have the space and you can make some money. Next up, uh, business number nine is selling ice cream. Yeah, and I've seen a lot of people do this, uh, vend ice cream around town, especially in the hot months. And I have bought very many times. I'm just like, it is bloody hot. I am sweating. And I just need to cool my body a little bit. I see someone selling ice cream for what? 30 bob, 40 bob, 50 bob. I just buy and I feel refreshed. So if you if you, if you you have 10 Gs and you want to start a business and you do have that time, vend ice cream, right? If you can even target, like I see people target churches. So you know a certain church usually has 3,000 members. Yeah, just just turned up evil. Well, after the services, all the services, if they have three services, make sure you're there with your ice cream. Uh, the kids are going to see you. You're going to entice them. Be very jolly and make some money. Actually, this is a side hustle you can do in the weekends only. All right. Last but not least, and this one is something that my brother actually used to do a couple of years ago is selling popcorn. So you might be able to get a good second-hand machine at um, that amount, you know, slightly under 10 Gs like he did. And then buying popcorn, it's not that expensive. Start popping, make sure it smells amazing. Juicy, <laughs> right here where, just where I live, I saw a lady selling popcorn on the road that have caramel. Yeah, that was like, oh, no, I don't have to go to the theaters to get caramel. Okay, cool. Right at the road. So if you can just spice it up a little bit, popcorn can also give you some good, good money. So those are 10 different side businesses or, you know, small businesses you can start with under 10,000 Kenya shillings. Uh, let me know down in the comments, which one have you enjoyed the most? Which one do you think is suitable for you? I'm going to be catching you guys next week. And until then, kick ass.